Okay, so when you first open your Lord's Bot software, this is what it's gonna look like. Now, you'll notice there's nothing on it. You basically have to add an account. So there are ways to add accounts, like importing account through like Google login. You can go through your browser and get it added. Or you can also do um, Facebook login and other ways. And then there's also, you can create an account without even logging in basically what this does is it creates an account that gets attached to an android system pretty much virtual android so i'm going to go ahead and create a new account here and it says account created successfully now we do have five test accounts um, to well actually this one since it is free license you're going to have one test account right so Right here, I'm gonna go ahead and start. What when I when I press start on this, it's going to go ahead and activate that account, and it's going to land in the latest kingdom, and it's going to start a brand new castle for you. So let's go ahead and press start, and you notice it'll say it's connecting, attempting to log in. So it'll go through all those tutorials and uh, skip up everything that you need to. And once you see orange here, that basically means that it's not shielded, but it will probably shield in a second as soon as Castle gets created. And you'll see under the action column what it's doing. See, now it's in green, which means it's shielded, which is that first shield that you can actually uh, get for what first three days or up to level eight of the castle and under action column you'll see that it's running tutorial action so you're just gonna let it run until it tells you uh, you need to rename your account so I'm gonna go ahead and let that happen and I have another account up created here which I believe this is a brand new account as well. Yeah. So you can see I've actually logged in two days consecutively. So I actually created this account yesterday so I can have interaction between this and the other account. Let's do what oh, we'll just call it. Uh, oops. We'll just call it tester account and we'll confirm and let's step outside of into the kingdom now this specific account is not the account that I created under bot I just needed a second account in order for me to interact with this account to make it go back and forth so we're in kingdom 1050 on that account that was created yesterday let's see which one this account look uh it's in 1051 so we're in two different kingdoms so first thing i'm gonna do is go into this account and then move it over so if i double click on it it's going to give me this option and i'm going into resource account don't worry about this i'm going to go ahead and explain all of this later so for now we're going to relocate it with one novice relocator that we get and we are going to take it into kingdom 1050 and let's look at where that other account is in uh, 20727 so i'm going to try to land it right here yep this will be the best place 20630 1050 20630 is where i want to go Two oh six thirty. Let me just double check. Two oh six thirty. Ten fifty. Two oh six thirty. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and use a novice relocator and relocate it there, and that should bring us right here. Okay. So that made it happen, right? So now these two accounts are together. We're going to go ahead and take this account 
and make it join a guild whatever guild it may be let's go ahead and take it into open guild here we go uh, BLF is what we're joining uh -huh, we got some gems so now this tester account is in BLF now let me open up my bot I'm gonna go ahead and rename this as tester account 2 And if you look on the upper left, it didn't change yet. Okay. Uh, tester account two. Maybe too many characters. Okay. And you'll notice right here is actually changed. Um, we got a new name. So if we look right down here, that's where it's at. Tester account two. So we're in a close proximity of each other. So with that tester account too, I'm going to add it to BLF account. So we'll go under guild tab. And again, I will explain all of this later. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and search for BLF. And sometimes the software is funky where it's resetting itself or as far as the account goes so sometimes we have to do it again BLF and oops okay BLF and it was I believe it was this one right yep so we're gonna go ahead and join okay so you'd see let me open it up a little bit further a lot of accounts joined and we can actually see the activity within within the guild chat so let me close this out so we are under same this is my original account and this is my tester account that's under the bot so let's look at tester account here we'll notice if we click on this account right here It will show amount of resources it have, hourly production, capacity, bag, and total. Uh, I can actually get rid of this if I don't want to see it in case I have many, many uh, accounts. That way I can go to the options. I just I'm going to hide it. So ideally, this is what it's going to look like. And it's going to have all the accounts that you have that's botted. And of course, more accounts you have, or more it's going to cost you, but this is where you can control every single account. Okay, and let me see. Yeah, and we'll run through this every single tab and every option on different videos, but this is what I wanted to show you guys as far as how to get your account first set up on a bot. So you have two options. Import it in um, whatever your existing castle you can do it or you can create uh, you can also create bulk by creating like 40 accounts if you want to but right now with this test uh, one day trial you can only do single account at a time and it won't let you do more than one so let's go to bulk creates a feature is locked for trial users now let's say I go ahead and turn this off I can go ahead and create another one. The thing is, you won't be able to have both of them online at the same time. And that's the big biggest issue with this. So I'm just going to go ahead and mess with one account. And one on my uh, Steam account that I created earlier. And that first account, we will not have it on the bot. I just wanted to show you what they're going to do. Or what I can make this uh, tester account to do with uh, all the functionalities within the software. So again, let's go back to the site. This is the site and I'll have the link on the bottom. And this is where you can actually download it, install it, and then connect your, um, or connect the bot to your account. 
okay so expect on the next videos on every option that's available I'm gonna probably make the videos where each option is different video and then we're also going to talk about proxies and things like that and maybe uh, tips and such on how to make it where you don't get banned as often um, eventually you will get banned I think so you know try not to uh, I guess um, bot your important accounts if you got a Titan account um, well there's a decent chance they're not gonna ban it but there's also a chance that you might get your big account banned uh, but smaller accounts and new kingdoms they're the biggest targets for ban anyhow thanks for watching I'll see you guys on the next video